In the coming days, weeks or months, more and more of us will be using some form of online internet meeting to connect either for work, social or other reasons. And some of you may wish to keep your privacy and your anonymity. In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can do this by changing your settings if you're using the Zoom platform. So stay tuned, coming up right after this. Hey, what's up? Garrett here at Simple Ducks, bringing practical tips, tools, and solutions to help empower your business to go further. And on this channel, we discuss subjects around health, safety, and environment. So if you're new here, then consider subscribing or hit that like button if this video is useful. You can be a part of our community and look through the comments below where you might find some other helpful hints and tips too. So if you have any questions, then please do post them I'd love to hear from you. So you've received an invite to an online meeting and you may wonder how to remain either totally or partially anonymous. In a couple of easy steps, here's what to do. First of all guys, go to zoom.us, create an account first. Don't just follow that link, create your own account. Um, this is how you set your privacy um, so go to the blue button on the top, sign up, it's free. Click on the sign up, it's free. Put in your email address within there and click on the sign up button and confirm. Right. It says there, we've sent you an email to Zoom user 978 um, and we just need to wait for that email to come through. So I'm just gonna pause it for a second, I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, we're back in now and that email has come through, so I'm just going to go to that email, um, which says activate my account, click on the button, and it brings us up to our page. This is where you will set your initial profile. So my name is Garrett, and I put my surname down. We're going to put in a password, and we're going to click continue. asking do we want to invite um, any colleagues I'm just going to skip this step and then it's going to ask us to go to uh, my account or start a meeting and um, we're going to go to our account go to my account have a quick look at that um, and we can see what's in here um, so for the purpose that so this is my profile you can see down the left hand side we've got profile meetings webinars blah 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 make yourself familiar with them but for the purpose of what we are doing today is we are I'm going to change my name here in my profile um, and I'm going to remove the last name of my, um, my account. So I'm just going to change it to Garrett E and that's going to be my profile profile set. We'll save the changes um, and then we're going to join a meeting and you can see how that comes up and then we're going to um, change our name within a meeting. Let me just set that up and I'll come back to you. So we're in our profile. We're now going to go to the email which was sent to you inviting you to a Zoom meeting. Um, and we've got this here and we're going to click on this link and that is then going to take us to Zoom. We're going to allow that to um, download and run and it's just opening up the, um, the meeting now. I'm going to click with join with computer audio. You can test your speakers and microphone. Um, in fact, we'll do that now. Um, did you hear this ringtone? Yes or no? Um, but go through that process. So we're in this um, this part of the program now. To check on your name, you'll see when you hover at the bottom of the screen, you'll see these different buttons um, pop up. And the manage participants, you'll see uh, my new name there is is Garrett. Um, I can then rename myself here um, and I could put, I know, we're going to change my name, Andrew A. And it's renamed. The only problem with doing that is you've already entered the meeting, people have already seen your name and then you've just, just changed it. Um, which is fine, you know, you might be using somebody else's PC, but um, that's where you are on that side of things. A couple of little things which I wanted to quickly show you um, if you want to change the background of your room 
go to the settings within the zoom.us, go into preferences, in preferences in the settings section, it will bring up this, um, this menu here, the virtual background, um, at this moment in time, I've got none, but I can put um, one in there behind me, I can put some grass, um, or I can put space, sort of thing. So if you just wanted to, I don't know, you didn't want people seeing the room behind you, your, your own personal room, then you can use one of these virtual backgrounds again, which gives you an element of anonymity um, and privacy at the same time. Um, and then I suppose the last thing which I wanted to, to share with you, I would always recommend keeping participants on. So this menu will come up here. So you can see who's coming into the meeting. Uh, um, what happens if somebody is recording whilst you're in the meeting? So I'm gonna hit record here and you'll see in the participant section, um, just join the board, join the board. you can see in the participants section here, um, there is a record button flashing on and on, flashing on and off, sorry. That indicates that somebody is obviously um, recording. It, the only person that can record is the host unless they delegate uh, their host position to somebody else and then that person can record. Whoever that is, and if somebody starts recording in the meeting, you will see that button um, flashing on and on, indicating to you that the meeting is being recorded. I want to stop that recording now. So those are two ways of changing your profile, changing your name to remain um, anonymous. Um, the first way is always the best way, which is doing it on the web base um, side of it. So within your profile um, in Zoom. So doing it in this particular place here into my account. If you ever get logged out of your account, then you log back in using the email address and the password that you gave. That is always the best way of doing it. Um, because should you get kicked out of this meeting um, and you log back in using the same link, um, the name which was displayed on here will come up on here. Right, so not the one which you've just given here. That will be lost when you re-log re re back in. Finally, ending your meeting. Um, don't forget to say to everyone, thanks very much for the meeting. I may have to leave early. Click on the chat button. You can send everyone um, a message. I'm just going to put really sorry. Got to leave. But thanks for the meeting. See you soon. And hit return um, and that's sent to everyone. Alternatively, you can send um, a, a specific person that message with two, whoever's in the meeting, their names will come down here, click on their name and, and send them a message. So at like that, um, if you're unable to, to verbally say bye-bye to everyone, um, send them a message and then end the meeting end the meeting and and that's it okay guys so that's everything that we've covered hope this was useful and yeah stay tuned take care thank you